Hello everybody, good morning and welcome to Escape to Nature where I'm coming from the Okokoyo waterhole in the Itosha National Park of Namibia and just in time for all these droves of animals coming down for a drink. My name is Ralph Kirsten and I think we're in for a treat because look at the sheer numbers arriving. It is incredible. Looks like a bit of a greyish day in Itosha. I'm sure it's still pretty hot and that's what's going to be driving the animals down to the water. But there is a bit of clouds around. There seem to be high clouds. I don't think it's going to be raining, but at least, um, well, you would think that it's taking a bit of the edge off. But sometimes when you do have these clouds around, it actually magnifies the heat and it can be hotter than usual. where we have a southern ground hornbill. It looks like it's feeding. There's a pair. Always nice to see hornbills with the rarity of them, you know, and their numbers dwindling. It's always a privilege to see. Look here, these uh, Hornbills have now come right here under the camera itself. I thought they were leaving the area, but it seems they weren't. Beautiful. We're going to stretch his wings. They really seem like dinosaurs. They're very typical the way they feed though. Um, typical of hornbills. How they grab something and then throw it up and swallow it down. Beautiful red markings though and, and such contrast with their black feathers. It's now 10 to 10 in South Africa, and it looks like the fresh water is already pumping. How do I know that? Well, I know that because the elephants are there, right on time. That buffalo over there still hasn't sort of started wallowing yet. It can be hilarious because the old Dagger boys can actually get so comfortable lying down on mud that they end up roly polling. And they're quite good at it. So I imagine this boy is going to do that, but he's too busy quenching his thirst right now. Buffaloes need to drink a lot, especially the older they get, because the older they get, their digestive system becomes less efficient. Same with us all. So they're heavily water dependent anyway, and this is definitely an old boy. Boy, we want to see your gymnastics for, and he's probably going to come down here and plump himself right in the water we don't see <laughs> we don't see buffalo too often out here they're just well we do they're just not really relaxed around cars look at this look at the width of those horns. Remarkable. What a weight. <laughs> Look at that. Two of the big five. Two beasts in their own right. Two magnificent animals side by side. Kind of.
Drink time. It's like we preempted it. It's lovely to spend time with them. It's such close range as well. But um, thirsty elephants and drinking at a water hole, fantastic. Look at the little youngster. He's still trying to work out his trunk. <laughs> and there's a couple of really young ones here. You can also just see difference in tusk growth. Some of them growing down, some sort of in the middle, and some almost growing upwards, like this one in the middle now. All real individuals. That one looks like it's got a bit of herpes on the trunk. See there? Just halfway down the trunk. Elephants do get herpes. And that one's obviously got it. So, folks, we're heading towards the end of the show. It's been lovely having you aboard with um, Always got to say thanks to the animals for being the star of the show and giving us something to talk about. But thanks to the whole Wild Earth team, from directors to the guys behind the scenes, and the cameramen, the naturalists, and everybody else. Um, so, And also, don't forget to stay tuned, because we will have the Sunset Safari from half past two, and then we get to do it all again tomorrow. So we'd love to have you aboard again. And think of all those questions and comments that you want to send through, and I'll see you again tomorrow. My name is Ralph Kirsten, and that's me for now. Bye.